So we've got another K20 oil pump from the wrecker. This time this one's a bit more golden. Uh, perfect reason why regular oil changes are required. Uh, what I'll do is I'll try and uh, give it a bit of a clean, degrease it, clean it. I'm going to open it up and, uh, and we'll try and port it as well. So let's get to it. So degreaser works much much better if it's warm. So got the old roaster out and we're giving it a bit of a roast. Uh, you can see it's starting to come up a bit cleaner already. Uh, might get an old brush and then like uh, give it a bit of a scrub to get it clean. So this is the oil pump uh, which I got from the wreckers uh, from a DC5 uh, Integra. Uh, RSX for people in US. Um, I've cleaned it up a lot. It was filthy. That car was a perfect example for why you should change your oil because it was this was golden. Uh, so what I want to do is give it a quick um, port. Uh, I'm not going to go crazy, but uh, while I've got it, I wouldn't mind having a look inside it anyway, and then we'll give it a port we can. Uh, I'm not sure how tight these ones are. There's... They're reasonably tight. So I've just undone these five bolts. So I'll just take them off. And there's two that are longer. So these two are the longer ones and you can see more lovely oil, cooked oil. Uh, so we might be needing to do a bit of cleaning in here. Let's have a look. Um, really the way these work um, I don't think they really wear that much um, obviously they're sitting in oil the whole time as well so using them second hand I know lots of people buy them new but if you can be bothered at your local junk wrecker junkyard whatever you want to call it uh, you can get them so it's actually not too bad it's better <laughs> it was more disgusting on the outside than it is on the inside um, so basically this is the way it works it just spins and pushes the oil through like that so what we'll be doing is uh, I don't know if you can see that but there's some sharp edges around there we'll just be um, you know smoothing those all out So I've just got a couple of these like um, burrs and I'm just going to um, expand out this hole as much as I can and also smooth off the edges. You can see I've started I've started to do that already. I don't know if you can see that but I've started to do that already. I'm just going to you know, smooth them off. clean it up a bit more but you can see I've removed the uh, it, the sharp edges from there I don't know very hard to show you but yeah it's looking much better so I've just put some oil you know on this so that it would 
you know, it's not just moving nothing when it starts back up. Uh, probably as assembly lube would be ideal, but don't have any handy. Uh, and we'll just put it back together. Uh, I'll put the bolts on and I'll put some Loctite on the bolts. Feels good. Should be good. We'll get it back together. Again, three smaller bolts on the lower side and the three bigger bolts on the on the thicker bits. Uh, and that's it. So with the pump looking a lot better than it was to start with, uh, we'll put this on the shelf and there is another project that I have in mind for this one. Uh, you'll see more soon, hopefully. Uh, if you did like the video, please give it a like uh, and consider subscribing. We've got more videos coming, more content. So cheers, guys. Thanks. See you next time. Thank you.